Imagine being able to boost your muscle growth while increasing your energy, speeding up recovery, and even prolonging your life by just wearing these glasses two hours per day. This isn't science fiction, but how does it work? And no, they're not to prevent shooting lasers out of your eyes. These glasses are fixing a crucial problem you're probably ignoring along with 72% of people. And if you don't fix this, it can wreck your gains. Can you guess what it is? If you can't, you should probably stop driving a car because I did make it pretty obvious. <laughs> You see, there's one thing I absolutely obsess about alongside fitness, and that is my sleep. I used to think sleeping better wasn't that important, but after reading a few studies, I completely changed my mind. Better sleep not only increases your life expectancy and improves your mood and mental health, but it also enhances workout performance and helps prevent muscle breakdown. For example, in this one study, scientists divided subjects into two groups. One group slept five and a half hours, and the other group eight and a half hours. Both groups had to go on a calorie deficit for two weeks and lost about the same amount of weight. However, the group that slept five and a half hours lost 60% more muscle mass as opposed to fat mass. I do have to point out that they used a small sample size and two weeks is a very short time frame. However, it seems logical that sleep plays an important role in retaining muscle mass. And while there is no direct research on the effect of sleep on muscle growth, there is a decent amount of evidence of better gym performance and its impact on important hormones like testosterone. So it's clear to see that sleep plays an important role in muscle growth, but most people don't focus anywhere near enough on this. How many of you felt tired in the last two weeks? Well, according to these statistics, almost every single one of you. Pretty alarming. But the good thing is we can change this. Now sleeping nine hours per day is very difficult. I've for sure was barely getting there, but then I discovered it's not just the duration that matters, but the actual sleep quality. Knowing this, I was able to sleep roughly an hour less while waking up feeling more energetic. At the moment, I only sleep seven and a half to eight hours and I feel better than ever before. And weirdly enough, these glasses played a role in that change. If you use them correctly, they can drastically improve the overall sleep quality you're getting. However, if you use them wrong, they can do the exact opposite and turn you into a cave goblin. <laughs> to understand why these glasses are so effective, we first need to break down how sleep works. <laughs> During the night, your body goes through mainly four stages of sleep, but we're going to focus on the two most important ones. There's NREM, which is deep sleep, and REM, which is light sleep. And throughout the night, your body cycles between these two stages. But most experts agree that deep sleep is probably the most important stage of sleep. That's because it plays a critical role in memory and it's where most of the healing processes take place. In fact, some research even shows that after heavy physical activity, we spend more time in that deep sleep stage, probably because our body needs that extra deep sleep to properly recover. However, there is more research needed on this specifically, so take it with a small grain of salt. But during deep sleep, there is for example a big increase in growth hormone, this can promote muscle growth, repair damaged tendons and influence other healing processes. And when we're talking about sleep quality, we're mainly talking about the quality and quantity of that precious deep sleep you're getting. And it's really important to know that during the first half of the night, you spend roughly 75 to 80% in that deep sleep stage. But this is where a big problem arises. Most people heavily fuck up their sleep quality only during the first hours of the night. This not only causes them to spend less time sleeping deep, but also the deepness of that deep sleep is ruined. You see, to fall asleep and experience deep sleep, your body produces a certain hormone called melatonin. This is what mainly regulates our circadian rhythm and allows our body to decide whether it's day or nighttime. But there is mainly one thing that blocks this sleeping hormone's production, and that is light. <laughs> but more specifically, 
blue light. There is plenty of evidence showing that when your eyes are exposed to blue light, it causes your brain to produce less melatonin. This isn't that unlogical because naturally throughout the day when you're supposed to be awake, you're exposed to a lot of blue light by the sun. This causes your melatonin to stay low and because of that you're more energetic. But throughout the day, that exposure to blue light and light in general would drastically decrease as the sun goes down. This allows our body to produce that hormone melatonin to signal it's time to sleep. At least this was the case in prehistoric times. But with the rise of technology and thus phone and computer screens, lamps and so much more, we're actually still exposing ourselves to very bright blue light even when it's dark outside. <laughs> poetry. Therefore we hinder our body from producing melatonin so your body's internal clock gets confused and still thinks it's daytime even when it's time to sleep. There is more evidence emerging that this reduction in melatonin causes us to wake up more often throughout the night but also experience less of that precious and important deep sleep. So if you expose yourself to blue or bright light right before bed, those most precious hours of sleep meant for recovery and brain development are inhibited. But luckily for us, not all light is the same. Blue light consists of shorter wavelengths and the exact opposite of that is red light. And it is becoming more and more evident that blue light is the most harmful one to your sleep. And that's exactly where these glasses are for. They're called blue light blocking glasses because they literally make every light that comes through the lens red. These specific glasses are even so effective at blocking out blue light that I even can't see the literal blue light. But when trying to find these types of glasses, there is one major problem. There is a lot of false marketing out there by hungry salesmen trying to get rich of an emerging trend. But luckily there are some good people in the world out there. I picked these glasses in particular from True Dark 8 months ago because I found a video of someone testing out different glasses and how much blue light they actually block by using a spectrometer. And these glasses came out on top by a long shot. Now I do quickly wanted to say that the research on the glasses themselves and their effect on sleep is still very mixed and limited at the moment, so take from that what you want. So if you're interested in buying them, I've put a link down below. It is an affiliate link, so I will earn a little commission if you buy it through there. But I would have made this video anyway because I love them so much and use them every single day. But while making the script for this video, I noticed that they happen to have an affiliate program and I happened to be broke. <laughs> Unfortunately, there is another issue that arises with blue light blocking glasses. The ones I use make everything look red, which is perfect because it's their goal, but for watching TV or something else, you might not like it and they are pretty expensive. So if you're looking for an alternative with data to back up their effectiveness, make sure to watch the video I just mentioned. The less extreme, however, the lower the quality of your sleep will be. Also something really important to note is that even if you wear these glasses you still want to make sure you're not blasting on all the lights before bed because even though red light is better bright red light will still negatively affect your sleep and not only before bedtime is avoiding light important but also while you're sleeping so try to make your room as dark as possible now you might think that avoiding every type of blue light is a good idea and start wearing these glasses throughout the day but this will have the exact opposite effect you need blue light throughout the day to let your body know it's daytime. Two hours before bed you can use these glasses to start producing melatonin to let your body know it's nighttime. I've also tried putting them on one and a half hours before bed but I definitely slept worse as opposed to two hours. But you can experiment with that yourself. The difference between daytime and nighttime also seems to be very important so exposing yourself to a lot of natural light throughout the day to make the difference between the two bigger seems a good idea. Now I do have to say that that unless you're sleeping six hours per day while listening to your favorite music, improving sleep won't instantly add 10 pounds of muscle, but over time the cumulative effect will be noticeable in your physique. And even if it wouldn't, the overall improvements in your quality of life alone would definitely be worth it. However, even though these glasses will help build muscle faster, their use as if your training is not on point and there are some powerful tricks that prisoners use to get checked, which you can use as well. So make sure to watch this video right now to learn more about why prisoners are so jacked.